Mark Gilman, along with Western Oregon running back Joe Harris and uh, Handsome Joe, as uh, we like to call you, both of us. Uh, a good ball game up at Simon Fraser. The weather was great. The passing was, uh, you know, exemplary, and the running game was magnificent. Talk about that effort against Simon Fraser last week. Our running game was uh, really nice. We actually got it going pretty good. Uh, all of us, me, Nate, and Dylan, actually all had a really good game in the backfield. So it was actually nice to get a running game, get our running game going. And in talking with some other folks, coaches, uh, other players, are they, you know, having a balanced offense is is something you that some folks take for granted. But man, that that opened up everything once that run attack got going. Oh yeah, I mean with Tyrell out out there, and along with Paul Revis, we got some two freshmen, Paul and uh, Calm out there. I mean, definitely opens up the backfield for us to run. So, and then you got me, uh, Nate, and Dylan back there. So, always got fresh legs in the backfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, to to me as a broadcaster only, it, it seems very important to be able to establish a run game somehow to keep folks from pinning back their ears against any one thing. And uh, boy, it, it seems like every game where you've had success like that, the team has really run on all cylinders. Oh yeah, if we could uh, if we could open up, if we could establish our run game, it gives opportunity for Berg to hit all of his receivers. You know, get the receiving game going too. And then after we get the receiving going, we go back to the run game. So you don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> This team, and, and in talking with others here, uh, seems like it's it's poised to try to do something special this year. I mean, it's it's been good years, the last couple, but uh, there are folks that seem to have that uh, the uh, Rocky-esque eye of the tiger this year in terms of uh, uh, it, uh, the GNAC title isn't just something that you talk about. You're really determined to make that happen this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, the last few years since I've been here, we've been close every year. So I think every year we're getting closer and closer. So hopefully this year will be the year that we uh, bring that home. Well, Central Washington, as we talk here at halftime, uh, obviously a, a big foe here in the uh, GNAC. The GNAC itself, though, is is certainly uh, got a lot of teams in, that you cannot take lightly during the course of this season. Oh, yeah, definitely, especially Central Washington. I mean, every year we play them, and no matter what their, our record is, their record, I mean, it's always going to be a good game all the way down to the end. So especially it's our home opener, so this gonna, that's even going to be more exciting. Yeah. The, the the coaches I know are also extra intense. It, it's been uh, you know a couple of games. You've been on the road both times. There's nothing like having uh, uh, that home opener finally, so you can get out there and, and get the fan support uh, behind you in a huge way. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for a home opener. It's going to be nice to be back home after two games on the road, especially if having Central Washington as our home opener. I mean, it brings it, it makes it that much more exciting. Talk about this uh, this offensive line for you guys. I know they've been nicked up. They've uh, you got a couple of guys who are out for a little bit, but they've got some young guys who've stepped in and uh, have made the adjustment quite quickly, as they had to do in Game One against Portland State. And it seemed like they took a big step forward up in Canada. Definitely, we do got a young line. I mean, but they're uh, catching on quick and they're opening up those holes for us to run through. So they're doing good. And uh, the defense, again, you know, that, that always seems to be a, a source of pride. And the, they forced four turnovers against Simon Fraser, a couple of big picks. And uh, th those are the kinds of things that um, take a little pressure off the offense, too. I mean, the, the wanting to score is huge, but uh, when those guys make the plays like they did, almost uh, one almost taken back for six, that's, that's huge. Oh, yeah, our defense, we never got to worry about our defense. Our defense always has our back. I mean, they get us on the field quick, so our defense is pretty good. There are just a handful of folks who, you know, have been uh, playing for uh, an extended amount of time here with this Wolves program and, uh, you know, you, you know about the handful of seniors that are exiting after this year. Uh, th this is a team that looks like they, they want to want to do well for, for the guys who are going out this year as well. Oh yeah, we'll send them off with a, with a, quite a few wins, so it'll be good. All right. And uh, finally, uh, you know, we we asked about last year was kind of a frustrating season for you. I know you had the the knee injury and the like, but uh, in watching you, I, it it appears that you, you're you're back uh, at full throttle for this team this year. Yeah, definitely. Last year was uh, definitely a rough season for me. I mean, but this year, I mean, whole new season. Everything's feeling good, so I'm ready to go. All right. Well, handsome Joe Harris, as always, thank you for your time and uh, best wishes here with this 2014 season. Thank you. Thanks for having me.